Good morning and have a pleasant day students. I welcome you all to this session of Fedistar International School. In this session you are going to see about class 5 English literature reader lesson 7 the day I came to meet Mishka part 1. Before getting into the lesson 7 we are just going to see about a quick recap about present perfect tense and past perfect tense. Children, now we will see a quick recap about the present perfect tense. It is nothing but it describes an action that began in the past, continue in the present or, or it has been just completed. Okay. The structure is subject plus has or have plus V3. Here V3 indicates the past participle form of the verb. For example, he has written an essay. Here written is the past participle form of write. Write wrote written. And for negative form, subject plus has or have plus not plus past participle form of the verb. He has not written an essay. And question form has or have plus subject plus past participle form of the verb verb has he written an essay question mark okay here has or have is there you no know, has is used for singular subjects and have is used for plural subjects but exception is i and you singular use have okay i and you singular subject use have okay and usage an example we see how long if you are asking how long question is right there no so for that present perfect is used i have been at work for six hours and i as i said in the definition recently completed task okay for that present perfect is used he has just cooked the meal and time period that has not finished still it has not finished time was there okay it was not mentioned or it has not finished for that present perfect is there. She, example, she has drunk two cups of tea today. Still today didn't finish. She can drink more also. So describe that uh, present perfect is used. And to describe the specific moment of time. I told you it action began in the past and continue in the present also. So for example, we have lived in this house since 2015 from 2015 onwards they are living in that house so for these actions present perfect is used to describe is it clear students now we will describe about the past perfect tense it is defined that the action that uh, began in the past and also completed in the past itself the structure is subject plus had plus past participle of the verb example she had finished a negative form subject plus had not plus part, pa, past participle of the verb she hadn't finished and also question form had plus subject plus past participle of the verb had she finished the usage of past participle mm, sorry past perfect is action that finished before the past action if two actions are there before the pa past action second action past perfect tense is used for example richard had gone out when his wife arrived in the office here when his wife arrived in the office is the past action and before that richard had gone out it is the past perfect action and specific time in the past for that to describe that past perfect is used christine had never been to an opera before last night here they had specified the time last night okay and also the actions that continued in the past started in the past and continued in the past for some years to explain that past perfect is used example we had worn that car for 10 years before it broke down okay and cause and effect i got stuck in the traffic be because there had a had been an accident so for an incident they are telling the cause to explain that past perfect tenses used and to give the importance of the result of an activity in the past for that also past perfect is used i had been london twice by the time i got a job in new york is it clear 
kids now we will get into the story the day i came to meet miska the characters involved were nicolette's miska miska's mom the story is about two friends who are very much interested in doing experiments so here in the story they had tried to make incubator okay they what they have tried to make incubator let us see in detail about what they were doing okay kids snow was melting everywhere water was flowing into the little streams in the gutter here gutter means it has two meanings a channel at the lower edge of a roof for carrying rain water on the other side a side of a road that is lower than the center of the road it means drainage pit okay each and every one of them were enjoying the season but the both friends nicolette and miska they were not happy here in book they have given dump dump means unhappy okay they are planning to do something which which they like okay they want to do something interesting one day nicolette came to meet miska at the time miska was seriously studying the book here uh, the word pouring over a book means reading seriously when when we are doing something seriously we won't hear any sound we will fully involved in that isn't it yeah here miska also did the same so miska couldn't hear uh, hear the uh, door banging sound kids after that miska heard the doorbell sound and opened the door it was nicolette okay nicolette told that he had banged the door still he didn't hear like that he stole then miska started that he was reading the book very seriously kids the book title was poultry farming you should know what is poultry farming it is nothing but growing of birds like hen rearing of growing birds like hen geese turkey duck for its meat and egg okay they can grow uh, rear the uh, birds in their home it is like a domestic one and for commercial purpose they rear and they will sell to ma- in the market or shops it is the commercial purpose for even for commercial purpose the government is providing loans to keep the poultry farm okay now we have got a clear idea what is a poultry farming isn't it then miska started explaining about the poultry farming book in that book they had given the pictures of hen and cock on the cover front page and more diagrams about the poultry farming and also they have given the picture of coops you can see in this slide okay picture of coops it nothing but it look like a cage okay to grow the hen and hen or birds like hen geese or duck okay to grow them in the cage Nicolette further question that what is interesting what was interesting about the book like that he asked it seems to be a book of signs and it didn't look like the fairy tales you know fairy tales book right some angel some unusual things they will explain they say same story isn't it so it is not like that it is a technology oriented book okay science it is based on science kids miska replied that it was a useful book in that it was given how to rear the birds like hens geese duck etc for their egg and meat commercially as well as domestically okay and nicolas further questioned miska that he had any idea of rearing turkey keys and for that he replied that no he didn't have any idea like that he said okay Miska explained that the book deals with the information about the machine called an incubator. Incubator is a machine that creates the perfect condition for an egg to incubate and hatch. Okay, it regulates the incubation temperature. Here is the small model of the incubator I have shown in the picture. 
Nicholas uh, explained further that he heard about the incubator. He said that last year he visited a farm and in that uh, in that the incubator hatched 500 or even 1000 chicken every day. By hearing that Mishka was surprised and he said he thought that hens could uh, only hatch chicken but incub incubator is much better than that. Here is the picture you can see an incubator which capacity is 60,000 eggs it can hatch. Mishka told that the incubator can hatch egg means the hen can go on laying eggs like that he said for fun and both were chatting and they finally decided to make an incubator. Nicholas he, he put forth his idea that whether making the incubator is easy like that and Mishka said that let me try to make incubator to hatch few eggs. The natural incubation uh, period of hens to hatch is full 3 weeks. The hen has to sit on the eggs for complete 3 weeks to hatch into chicken. It's for fun, Nicholas said, why couldn't we hatch the eggs in saucepan? What will happen if you break the egg in the saucepan? It will become chick? No, it will become an omelette or half boil, isn't it? Yeah, and Mishka said that it won't hatch into chick, it will become half boil or omelette. Kids, Mishka clearly explained that the fire would spoil the eggs. The best way to hatch the egg is to use incubator, which means, uh, which means it maintains the proper temperature of one or two degrees. The brood hen here, brood hen means the hen that has begun to sit on and incubate the eggs day and night to make the chicks to come out from the egg. For that, the proper temperature and warmth is required. Okay, the what. Whatever the hen is giving, the same thing the incubator provides. Kids, and then they start in the procedure for making the incubator. First, say, Mishka started explaining about the incubator using the diagram by touching with his forefinger. The water tank is there and the pipe was there. So, the water tank from the, the and the pipe leads to the under the egg. Okay, the tank is heated below and the warm water runs through the pipe and heat the egg and then there is a thermometer also to check the temperature and after that the hatching process begin okay so he explained by explained that by using the diagram here I have listed a few things to make the incubator. The two friends they were discussing about the materials needed to make the incubator. In that I have listed some okay. A cotton, felt, lid, thermometer, wooden plywood, bent tube, tin and paraffin lamp etc. They need okay. So we will see now with that what they are going to do okay. Instead of water tank, they are going to use empty tin and in that they are going to fill the water and uh, they thought of heating that using a paraffin lamp. Okay, to collect all those things, uh, they, want, they went to the car shed. There a huge garbage, heap of garbage was there. In that way, things like old pair of shoes, uh, boots, empty bottles, galoshes. Galoshes means a rubber sheet that worn over a uh, shoes uh, in the wet weather okay and broken number lock copper wire and at last they found the paraffin lamp so whatever the materials uh, they needed to make the incubator they collected uh, like uh, in paraffin lamp copper wire etc and went into the kitchen kids then both the friends were ready to make the incubator first they made a large box out of plywood and its capacity is to hold around 15 eggs to hatch then they fill the wooden box with felt felt means a soft cloth and also cotton so that uh, it keeps the egg warm uh, they initially they says whatever the things needed they have collected and they also said the they started the initial stage for the incubator 
kids then they made a small hole in the lid to place the thermometer and also they made uh, two holes one at the top and the other at the bottom of the tin one one to the one hole they have connected the bin tube and the other end of the bin tube was attached to the wooden box and the miska fetched the wooden crate and placed the incubator so that the tin was right on the top of the hole the lamp went underneath the paraffin lamp was kept underneath to lit the to heat the water everything was ready and filled the tin with water and they lit the lamp the mercury in the incubator began to rise they were very excited it reached the level of 1 or 2 degree celsius so to brew uh, to hatch the egg the temperature temperature is 1 or 2 degree celsius isn't it so they reached the temperature so they were very happy while the mercury reached the level of 1 or 2 degree mishka's mom came and she got the smell of paraffin so she shouted what was going on mishka in a low voice explained that we made an incubator to hatch chicken and without listening him his mother told that it is not safe to play with paraffin lamp it would catch fire she held I mean shouted to stop the experiment that was the end for the incubator so kids they tried very well isn't it yes so but safety is important right kids for this lesson we will do the class work in the uh, coming video session okay so stay home stay safe thank you kids